I would like to first give a shout out to Mr. Klaus for this video because this makes me very angry. I don't like it when people sit back in the cab of the bush with their TDs, especially the S tank. Why do you sit there with your Swedish tank and bush eating your Kringles? and drinking your mugs of spice data when you should be attacking the enemy and moving. I understand when you sit in bush and shoot, but when you just sit in bush and drink beverage, you're not helping the battle. So, so I show you in my tank, here's what I do. I don't sit in bush. I first scan the battlefield and look for opportunities. You can see these by the red letters and arrows with little shapes on the screens. Now sometimes there are obstacles in the way, but you see right there they see outline of tank and that lets me shoot. There's no obstacles. But now there's the enemy, there's no one to see, so I move forward in my S tank. And I sneak up on the enemy. I do not sit camp in bush. I move up on the enemy. So now we're sneaking. We're sneaking through the forest and we will shoot the bats. Now right here I make mistake. I should have turned more before because I have no angle inside of S tank. And then I shoot upper plate because I did not press X soon enough. S tank is very frustrating, but you get good at this. You become a master. Take that scorpion. Take that T-54. Take that scorpion. And when doing this, you have to be very careful. Always keep the gun pointed at enemy tank. Otherwise, it will pen. Also, overmatch is very important because overmatch, when the enemy gun is three times the diameter of the thickness of my armor, it will overmatch. So, for example, if armor is 40 millimeter thick and enemy gun is 120 millimeters, it no pen, it will always bounce. But if it's a hundred and twenty one millimeter, then it will penetrate. Take that pattern. It's at this point I need to keep moving because artillery will destroy a tank. No armor protection from artillery. Look now at map. We have perfect flank opportunity. So we kill the artillery bastards and then we continue our assault we move now into the enemy base and we will drive through flag just to freak them out a little bit and look at this now I can cap and shoot all at the same time I shoot the T10 because I can continue to see him. But unfortunately, T10 has good side armor. And now with very few hit points left, I will bounce every freaking shot. I probably should have shot at German tank. German tank no bounce S tank very well. Now let's shoot the side of the S tank. But you know what? We're going to bounce there too. Very frustrating. But now S tank is only one left. And then we win the game. And I showed you how you can assault with Swedish S tank. No camp at the bush. You can push. You can lead the assault. But be very careful of overmatch. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video by my friend Jim. I don't know where he's from. I really can't figure out what the accent is. But anyway, 
He wanted to do this video, so I let him do it. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Your subscriptions are my motivation to keep making videos. Have a great day.